When she comes out, I'll try to block it off better. <laughs> All right, so Eliane's had her pain meds. We've got a little smoke of time. Pretty good visit, I would say. I'm gonna turn lights down. Thank you. 
Good morning. Slightly more graceful. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 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 Bye. The catch all. Hi, 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 Little Miss Ellie first. In theory. Uh, she would be nice if she was in here. So much. 
Okay. Let's see it right. So this is Eliane. She's just here to recover from her spade. So I'm just gonna do. I don't have her bed. Like she's not really super secure in this towel. But I'm just gonna try to give her some pain meds, check her incision, and then send her on her way. girl you're so brave and adorable. Elian looks like uh, Junie. I can show you but she'll probably bolt. I kind of want her to bolt into this carrier but I'll give you I'll try to give you a there's her body. She's a adorable tuxy with a little tiny cheek spot. What a good girl. What a brave girl. She's so beautiful. She's so brave. You can't see her right now because she's hiding. There she is. Hi, sweetheart. You're so brave. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. She looks just like Junebug. There. Good girl. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. See, I get to pet you. So nice. Pet you. And now I'll put you back in your safe spot. Okay, back in your safe spot. Or maybe you want to join me in her safe spot someday. That would be nice. Okay. Yeah. 
good grief, girl. It's not a very good wrapping job, is it? It's not a very good wrapping job. Kestrel's from uh, the same, she's from a colony, but from sort of the other side. And she was taken in by a neighbor, for the most part, what was indoor, outdoor. And the neighbor is moving. And so, and they aren't able to take, take them because it's a whole situation. So um, they were very concerned about them. And so the property owner um, contacted me and we took her and actually four others, the four others are at VAPS. But, um, did she, did she tell me snack? You see, she's very brave. So I brought her in because I thought it would be helpful for, um, Neelix to see Castro not being afraid. And I, uh, we did ultrasound Kestrel um, last week. Well, I guess it's been, it was last weekend, so more than a week ago and um, didn't see anything then, but um, she was outside uh, quite a bit, so it is possible that she was just too early to detect at that point, because you have to be, they have to be about halfway to two-thirds through before you can pick them up on it. Well, ultrasound's earlier than x-ray, but x-ray is 42 days. So um, I'm just hanging on to her for another week or so to till we know for sure. And she's very sweet. And she has very adorable white muzzle puffs. Oh, <laughs> just like the cat involved. She has the white muzzle puffs and they're really cute. They're really cute. So she's super sweet. So. If she is not pregnant, then she will be spayed and put up for adoption. But it would be awfully, it would be awfully convenient for all of us if he, she was about the same amount pregnant as Neelix, and then we could keep them together. Then all of our problems would be solved. But if not, then she gets to go home sooner, and that would be nice for her too, because she's so darling. She's just so sweet. She's so special. Very special. Yes. Just like all the all the cats that came from there are, are so, super sweet. So. All right. So. Uh, it is not certain that Neelix is pregnant. It's likely. And I thought I felt something, but it's it's very difficult to tell. 
um, until they're, you know, a little bit further along. But there's her adorable little face. Isn't that so cute? It's just the cutest little face. She's so cute. And this is a very ferocious feral cat named Neelix. She's looking for her escape route. But she doesn't know we have to have some petting time and we have to do some ear cleanings. Um, I did check on Savina before I came in here. Savina has uh, explored her room. She's used her litter box. She's rearranged her catio a bit. Um, it looks like she's eaten some food. She was uh, still in her, she was back in her um, feral cat den on the catio when I came by, but uh, she definitely did some exploring, which is very good. So um, hopefully if I just use minimal interaction over there, just like with Sloney and Cisco, um, hopefully she'll do okay. And maybe she's not pregnant and then she can get spayed and go back sooner, which I think would be nice for her. But it will be another another new situation for us having such a um, such a fearful uh, slash aggressive. And I only say aggressive because um, when she feels threatened, instead of you know running, she she has no problem with um, fighting, and that's totally smart on her part. That's how she survived in the wild. So I'm not saying aggressive in a negative way. It's just a way to describe the difference in her behavior and her personality. She's a tort she's got tortitude. Should we check out your little earsies here? Guess what I have today? Guess what I have? It's so exciting. I have that. And we have um, we have Willow Willow Saren's family's coming over at noon to help us with a um, help us with some handy handyman stuff in the basement to get that other room we've been using ready for more cats to visit. So um, I won't be in here too, too long, but I do want to see if I can have at least a little bit of a, a little bit of quality time with this adorable kitten. I do a little ear cleaning, because everybody likes an ear cleaning. Right? She says, uh, not everybody, not everybody. I will look at you. I know what you're up to, human. You're very cute. She's looking for a way to escape. Oh, look, I put my headlamp on and then I didn't turn it on. Here we go. Now I can see it. Oh, yeah. Good girl not to get it in her eyes. Good girl. So much better energy in here today with um, not having uh, Sabina frantically running around. Um, it can keep things a lot more calm and soothing and even though you know it's still going to be scary um, it's going to be a lot less so <laughs> catch was playing with the fern so these two <coughs> sorry were um, out exploring the room overnight also which is good. I haven't checked the litter box yet. That's your friend Kestrel. What do you think? She's cute, huh? You're both cute. Good 
think that's a scar on her ear. What did I think? So what I'm hoping to learn, and what I think will happen, I'm hoping this time around, is if, is since we've had such good luck with the other cats we've brought in over the winter, um, I'm hoping that I can have some interactions with her, and because she's still has maybe four weeks left in her pregnancy or five, five weeks even maybe, I don't know, impossible to know, um, that we'll get to know each other a little bit and um, her stay will be less stressful at that point and um, perhaps it will be less stressful for her when I have to come in and make sure the kittens are doing okay and, and weigh them and things like that, which they will have to do at some point. So I'm hoping that by doing all of this, she will learn that I mean her no harm. I know that she won't learn that completely. And I know that pregnancy hormones are kind of a wild card, but um, we have been able to get through to so many cats we never thought we would be able to that I think it's worth a try. And I think there's I'm definitely very in tune with how she's doing and if it seems like it's not working at any point then I will stop and we'll revert back to minimal interaction because the most important thing is having healthy mom, healthy babies and in order to do that stress needs to be minimal. So I don't want to, so it's a fine line. Your ears must feel better today, but they'll be feel even better tomorrow. They were pretty sore. Hmm. Pretty sore little ears. Okay. I think that might be enough for one day. Oh, nope. One more. One more. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. You were very brave. Good 
Good girl. So she's had um, she's had revolution and profender. She's had her ears treated for mites. Um, but even after you clean them the first time, the gunk just keeps coming out when they're really bad. So. Oh, you don't mind that, do you? Where did my little friend catch her boat? She's in the window. Oh, you're such a good girl. You're so sweet. It's not the most flattering angle, is it? That's just a bird of color. No purring. Definitely less gunk today than the first day, so that's good. And no, she's not purring yet. It's too early for that. It's too much. Yesterday was stressful. Being here is stressful. I am I am happy that she is hanging out in the cabinet of solitude because that would be a great place for her to have her babies. You're really looking around, thinking about making a run for it. Thinking about it. Oh, I'm mean, very special. You're very special. <coughs> She is doing better than she was doing yesterday afternoon. Oh, she's a very sweet cat. She's a very sweet cat. You're so sweet. I know I'm not going to eat you, I promise. Yeah, I'm not only eat. I only eat junk food. I only eat junk food. Yeah, don't you wanna go check things out? Oh, oh can we? Let's do. I'd like just a little more petting. Let's do it just a little more petting. She says, I don't think I want to.
So the neighbors had brought Kestrel in um, to keep her safe, as safe as possible. And, uh, um, but they have to, they're moving, and so they weren't able to take, she wasn't necessarily their pet, they just had brought her in to try to keep her safe along with the other ones that they had there. So. Which we appreciate because it's attitudes about cats and on a lot of rural properties are not very friendly. was in essence surrendered to tiny kittens along with the other four and then since the other four um, didn't seem to be pregnant um, although they, the, the two older ones they're gonna hold on to for another week or so just like we're doing here but um, just to get them adopted out faster um, we sent them to laps because they don't have very many cats right now. So it worked out perfectly. And since we're not a shelter, we don't have people coming through, because we don't have staff to be here and open up for people, um, it worked out great to send those, the adoptable ones, the laps, and hold on to the kestrel and see if she is pregnant. And it's also just, she's very lovely to have around. Felix is actually enjoying the ear massage, but she's also kind of keeping an eye on Kestrel back there. Um, I think Laps is showing their own cats on the camera for Laps. So we suspect Kestrel is the mom of Season and Shiver, who are over at Laps. Yes, and they all have very similar um, coloring to Noel. Uh oh. What? Oh, my alarm's going off. Oh. Oh, I forgot to my alarm. Oh, you did very well. Good job. Good job. Oh, that makes you a little bit nervous. 
I know. Lucy and Kevin here. Oh, okay, wait. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, you can go. <laughs> that was my alarm because we love Saren's people are coming over. It's okay. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to come out? Oh, did you get a hit? Oh, catch all. Oh, catch all. If you're going to be hissy pants, then we can go now. Don't be hissy pants. Don't be a hissy pants. Yeah. Yes, come over to this side and then the Alex can get by you. We should put her little, let's put her little thing back. Put some things up there. 